Well, fall practice was good for us from day one to the end of the uh, fall season, where we ended up seeing a lot of things where the guys uh, were capable of, of instilling um, some of our system. Uh, didn't get in, into everything, which we're going to end up getting into here uh, second semester once the guys come back. But really very pleased with the guys. We had a, an opportunity to kind of see where they were, uh, what we uh, needed to do uh, in the off season with individuals, uh, what, what it really is, is, is what's taking place right now. Uh, but from day one to day uh, to the last day of fall practice was outstanding. Uh, very, very pleased with the guys. They have done a great job. They've come out every day. They've been um, enthusiastic. They've been uh, very uh, in tune with, with new things, new ideas. Uh, I thought every day they came out, it was 100% uh, effort. Uh, our staff was very pleased with, with their approach. So uh, for us, we, we, we got a really good idea where uh, I think everybody is and, and what we need to work on uh, really from today uh, all the way until uh, we start playing in February. Well, we, were, uh, we came in behind the eight ball um, in July uh, when it came to uh, recruiting. So I was kind of concerned about how we could get caught up that late in the process. Uh, but it, it really uh, was very beneficial for us. We identified the areas that we needed to, uh, to look at for evaluation because of, at least on paper, we knew what we were going to lose. So we ended up identifying mostly uh, pitching. Uh, it, it was the main emphasis when we went out to uh, evaluate. We knew who we were going to lose uh, in 2012. Uh, until we started practice, we really didn't have an idea uh, of the other positions, if there were any needs and so forth. Uh, we just knew on paper coming in what we needed. So um, I thought we fulfilled that. We, we've got a, an excellent class in my mind. Our staff is very pleased with them. I think they're outstanding young men, uh, both on and off the field. They bring a lot of passion, a lot of athleticism, um, uh, just a high character individual in, in each guy that we have. Uh, we've got uh, eight signees coming in, uh, and uh, we got a couple out-of-state kids. Uh, one from New York, one from Florida, so we branched out a little bit there. Um, but uh, I, I think everything that we uh, needed uh, to bring in and, and fill, uh, I thought we did a pretty good job with that and very, very excited with these guys coming in. I, and also joining the guys that we have um, um, on this year's club that will be returning. I think it's a pretty good fit with um, our current guys and in, in the incoming uh, freshmen for 2013. Well, I think it's, a, it's a, an exciting schedule. I think it's a challenging schedule. Uh, we actually go down and, and play in North Carolina in uh, a little mini-type tournament at Elon University. And uh, Elon is uh, a team that has won the SOCON last year. Uh, they um, did not make it out of their uh, conference tournament for a regional, but they are, I believe, four out of the last five years uh, SOCON uh, champions. Uh, very good team um, right off, off the bat for us. We play App State, uh, who is in their uh, conference, but is in, uh, coming down from the mountains to play down in, uh, in Elon. They're not going to play each other, uh, but we also have George Mason in that, in that tournament also. Um, and then from there, the second weekend, uh, we've got a little flight trip. We, uh, we go out west to L.A. and we play USC, and uh, I think everybody's pretty excited for that one there. And USC is an up-and-coming uh, it's a storied program. They've been down for a couple of years, but it's, uh, it's a program that's on the rise. And um, for example, they were just uh, ranked number five in the country in their recruiting class uh, this past year. Got a lot of new faces. Uh, I know they've got a lot of guys coming back this year. Uh, I believe there's 19 uh, uh, kids coming in uh, that are there this year in their uh, freshman class. Uh, but that's going to be a good trip because it will be a very, very tough weekend playing a team like that. Uh, we go down on our spring trip, um, back down to Port Charlotte. Uh, we actually play uh, Jacksonville midweek and then finish up in um, uh, Winter Haven and uh, play some very good teams down there in preparation for the, uh, for the MAC schedule. And what we want to do is, is we want to make sure our guys um, understand their roles. Uh, we, we are putting them in situations um, that we need them to, to be in and very successful in once we start MAC play. So the preseason schedule is going to get us as a staff prepared, it's going to get our guys prepared, um, and then once we get into MAC play, uh, everybody knows what their role is. We know uh, where, they, where they stand, 
what they're capable and maybe not capable of doing and, and identifying some guys and, and, and their roles. Uh, but the purpose in that preseason is really to end up facing good competition, getting the guys ready to play for the MAC. It's exposing them to, to postseason environment in some cases there. Uh, you know, Elon is a postseason uh, team. Uh, App State has been there before. Uh, Jacksonville, uh, very good team down in the uh, ASUN. So, uh, and then obviously USC, we're going to expose them to the to the postseason environment, and um, and get them ready for MAC play. And then uh, when we get into MAC play, that's that's you know the first part of the I consider it really the first part of the season. Preseason, um, it, it is an important part. But now you know these games really do count uh, for what we want to do in postseason. Um, so our guys will will be um, I think pretty much prepared once we get into that part. Um, and then uh, our goal, number one goal, certainly is to end up uh, winning a championship. Um, you got to get um, a very good uh, season, regular season uh, underway, uh, and then MAC play. Because once we get into, MAC, in, into the MAC tournament, so once we uh, get into there, we should be playing our best baseball. And then from there, postseason is the most fun time of the year, and that's what we uh, tell our guys: that uh, all that hard work, everything that we're doing in the off season. It's because of postseason, and uh, each game is like a wiffle ball game in your backyard. You know, during the season, you go out and you have some fun. You compete, um, and uh, obviously, you prepare before you compete. Uh, but you go out there and you just have a blast. You have a lot of fun, and then things will fall into place. So um, it's going to be uh, exciting, obviously, uh, once we get into MAC play. And uh, our guys, I know, are looking forward to this uh, upcoming season. Well, once we come back off of Christmas break, we have about two weeks before we start team practice. So when they leave now for Christmas break, um, they've got uh, an idea and a program what they need to do to, to prepare when we uh, come back to school. So for the first couple weeks, uh, we'll end up doing our individual sessions like we're doing right now. Uh, it's a great time to teach, to instill some things with the guys on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, so I have two weeks of that. Um, we've told them that they certainly have to come back in, uh, in good shape. And then we'll start our, our uh, first team practice at the end of January. And then within three weeks, we're playing uh, regular season. So uh, once uh, we get back from school, for the most part, they should be in about 95% shape to end up uh, practicing. So they're going to have to do quite a bit on their own uh, once they go home for Christmas break.